Now we put Soft our covers, clothes on. Serialized, fantastic, and detective stories. Let's do this check. Animal Adventures, a magazine for electrical engineering and an international thriller. Also, light erotica and some historical novels from the century past. What stands out? Oh yes, under the bed, there is a rather extensive collection of critical theory. That is, dour, life non-affirming left-wing literature published by small imprints such as Abattoir Firm and Uzia. It's not exactly like reading. Wow. It's the hot topic of the day. Hmm. Um, Look, Kim. Powerful communist theory. Rigorous and truthful. <laughs> Best kind of theory. Yeah. Just throwing words up that mean nothing. <laughs> Big scary words that mean nothing. Uh, by the way, also... That's how you become a case crushing machine. Right? Get into the work. In the typical in the typical like movie cop fashion almost or like noir cop fashion where it's like, "Oh yeah, you find something to throw yourself at." Yeah. And you go as deep into it as possible. Focus your mind on it. And the moment anything slightly tries to rip you away from it, you thrash to stay focused on the job. Look him, deranged commie ranting. Look him, downbeat dribble for people who can't get shit done. Look him, a book, left wing. I have no comment. <laughs> Do you? <laughs> what is this setup number four? <laughs> I have no input on the situation that is being put before me. This brings up <laughs> no feelings for me. What about you? What do you feel, oh. Kim? Usia. Humanitarian sciences stands out. Not a lot of critical theory around in Ravachol West anymore. Your incendiary remark has failed to provoke him. Who said something about critical theory? <laughs> you know, I have a theory or two. <laughs> Charlotte, sit down. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Done with this shit. <laughs> We're done, Jean-Luc. Coming up next on our Talking Heads news program, <laughs> Measurehead <laughs> and his opinions. <laughs> now, you say you have some interesting thoughts. What do you have to say as I make this weird, static, frozen facial expression of bewilderment, which gives you no clue as to what I'm thinking? <laughs> well, Tucker. <laughs> 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 I'm all ears, Jean-Luc. <laughs> Glad to be here. <laughs> Why is it so close to reality? Why is it so... Just, just the, just the, the news box like overlay with the fucked up painting portrait underneath it, and then j and the Chiron reading at the bottom. <laughs> you know, Jean Luc Measurehead, race realist, has joined us today on the program. Please to educate you in a student's room. A student in the apartment building seemed to have some as well. Well, yes, that one student did. Mm -hmm. The little books seem inconsequential next to the big pile of frivolous entertainment covering them. Critical theory books. What do you think this means? What does this mean for the children? Again, I am not a philosopher, but whoever has lived here, they have some education and a certain set of interests. Kimball. Kimball. Interesting. No bait. Nope. Kim sees the hook and he keeps on fishing <laughs> by. He keeps <laughs> swimming. Oh, what's that on the wall? Army surplus winter scar scarf. Ooh. Let's do empathy minus one composure. 
two empathy for one composure. Hmm. Not bad. They're both at five. Yeah, interesting trade off. Um, plight of the underclass. Sucks to be poor. Mm -hmm. This toey old scarf itches when wrapped around the neck. It has humanitarian aid written all over it. Yet you know that thousands all over the Isola are suffering the same fate as you. The fate of uncomfortable army surplus scarves. You know, if I remember correctly, the description of empathy itself said, like, too much of this is a problem. Um, well, I guess it would hurt you, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're at 5-5. Five, five. I don't know if I want to take the hit. Although, let's look at the style you of it. You have to follow Kuno. You can't care too much. Look at that. I mean, it does swag you up. It does. It does swag you up. I can't pretend it doesn't. Uh, and let's put our... Our goose back on. The bubble goose. All right. Damn, we look Canadian. Oh, minus the hat. <laughs> We're with, uh, like Albertan. A, Albertan, yeah. <laughs> Albertan coming to Nova Scotia. <laughs> Albertan visiting family in, in Nouvelle Ecosse. <laughs> Very particular. It's cold. Oh, some more gear. Fallen R shirt. The whole set. Sleeveless aim. Plus one and high coordination. This fallen training shirt has seen one wash too many. It retains its unusual design. One sleeve short, the other long. But little of its original colors. A giant F swooshes across its chest. Now in gray. Get a good look at that. Damn. Foam. Did we have sports? Do we have shoes too? Yeah, we had we had gloves. Yeah, 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 we did. Alright, well. Sports, 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 sports. Ready to run. We like sports. Uh far left. Yeah. Holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> Yo! Sport cop! <laughs> Dude. Untouchable. No set bonus. Yeah, no thought if you return to... Ah. There damn well should be, you know? There really should be a set bonus. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, some magnesium. Mag... Some more, some money. A pittance. This great blast door must weigh over 10 tons. Rust peels off it. <laughs> yeah, gear up. <laughs> All right. All right. Gear up. We had fun. <laughs> we had fun. Just trying to have a little fun. Yeah, heading into the great unknown. Where the fuck? Uh, gloves are on the left. And... Oh yeah, the armor at the bottom. Always. And then, oh yes, the Kami hat. Right, right, right. Uh, yeah, I know this is pretty much what I was... I was, I was keeping those fault pants on anyway. Yeah. Plus one savvy. Physical instrument. Very good. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I felt they were the, they were the most useful pants, but like, let me see what else. Uh, nope. All right. We're going to... Seems good. Yeah, we're gonna go back to what we were on. Okay. There's something up there in the oh, darkness, yeah. so that's a, a pathway uh, towards stuff. That's a door to outside, and then we walked under this way. 
So let me just, I think I did just save, but let me just save again. That's fair. And let's see what's out this way. So that was the entrance? That's the door? entrance. On top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just hooks over yeah. to the other side, right? But now we know this pathway. Oh, what is this? The hatch is jammed shut. Water rushes below, far down below. Okay, and then we have the door to that the outside. That led to the outside section Over that there. we checked. Okay. All right. Wait, that door we checked it in the dream. Uh, outside. The the back. Yeah, that door. This is the door we walked out of in the dream that led to the dreamscape. Okay. So, so we can we have two choices right now. We don't know where each one leads. This is a loose step with some magnesium <laughs> and some money. That's pretty cool. We also have a control panel over here. Yeah, let's highlight this. Green paint flicks off the monoblock aluminium cabinet. There are rows of switches on the front panel, a frequency band, and even a keyboard. Run your fingers across the keyboard. What is this then? The console of an antique computation device. The generator upstairs with wires coming out. Determine it here. Oh, the lieutenant points to the wires running into the machine. What does this console do? Urgence, ouvert, allumé, radio diffusé. Sounds like this device was used to control the electronics here. Maybe it still does. This device was used to control the electronics in the room. It could open doors, control lights, function as a radio computer. It's a Feld console, of course. We're not done figuring out what's going on with that. Turn emergency open. Push light interior. Slide radio dial. Nothing happens. We need to restore power before using this, officer. The generator, it didn't look like there was fuel in it. True. We should look around outside. There are barrels all over. Maybe one of them still has something in it. He looks into the dim light to his right. The boat engine. Or we could get some from the boat engine. Failing that, we could go back to the mainland and get some from... Not in agreement. Ah, but fucking... I mean, one, that's going to strand us, and two, that's... That's it's taken from our bay in a worst case scenario. But officer, then we would have to swim back to the mainland. Let's just look around. Yeah, okay. okay. Logical. The console stands by, mutely. Eugène's over reads a dial key. The dial slides under the glass silently. You make out defunct stations on the UKV frequency. The words, Feld Insula, are written on the band. Insula. This is an off-air radio computer, I believe, used for military communications. The lieutenant leans in to inspect the cursive writing. It's an air-gapped system, an off-air military model. Its circuits are nearly impossible to bend, i.e. it cannot be remote controlled. Okay. And we got a point. Where are you gonna put it? Now I don't know. Uh, okay, wait. Bonus from items plus one and thoughts plus one. Retor uh, rhetoric, volition in an empire at seven. Composure at five. And hand eye coordination is maxed out. So is volition, actually. Yeah. Um, inland and hand eye would probably. Ooh, yeah, perception's maxed out. That's true. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um. Anyway, we can see what needs arise. Uh, find some fuel. We saw some barrels out front. And Kim said there was uh, a path on the right. Yeah, well, there's dream a dream path, I guess. Yeah, there's a, there's those two doors, which Reggie, we would never walk out of before we finished interacting with everything in the room, mm -hmm. even though we might walk up to them and identify where they might be. We would, of course, double back to make sure that we've clicked on every clickable, mm -hmm. right? Yes. And then you identify the doors and go through one of them, correct? Makes sense. Logical. Uh, so, 
uh, we saw some barrels out front where uh, they couldn't be clicked on initially. And then we've got the pathway out there. Let's walk out to where we followed up through the drain and see if this side that we already sort of traversed leads to something similar. Yeah. It does. A firing slit. You can't see inside. Ooh, that's way over there. Yeah. Well, this is a full on island. Must have been a direct hit to take out such a huge chunk. The distant sound of cargo ships signal horns echo on the water. Whoa. Loud. The pain in your pelvis makes you wince. Then you continue. The inside of the fortress. You make out the console and the blast door. So, these barrels are not interactable, we can tell from here. Maybe the ones out by the front in the little hut we saw. And then that's a pathway leading up over there. Here, before we walk into the unknown, let's quickly just double back and make sure that uh, we won't find any of what we're looking for in the initial area yeah between the boat and the entrance exactly the barrels we saw that were unselectable let's just verify that they're continuing to be unselectable before i walk through another uh, potential progression point along this bridge here we are not being psychics <laughs> I'm uh, going to just double check to see what we see. Oh, more interest points. This barrel has run empty. There's almost nothing inside. Ah. Well, not enough fuel. You'll have to look elsewhere. Okay, so well, they good put... thing that we came back here. Well, they put some new dialogue to let you know that, right. hey, you did see something before. Hey, you're you did, investigating. You did think about it. Where you're not sure of things. You That's know. great, Willie. All right, let's... Now let's continue into the unknown. <laughs> and then, of course, there's the door on the left over there, which may or may not be more area. Might be progress, might be not. Who knows? Let's check out. Peek our heads inside and see what, what happens when we go over here. You see a small metal door nested inside a larger one. A heavy steel blast door. There is a conventional keyhole above the handle. It's very small. So small. What's on the other side? Another part of the island, probably. The lock looks like it could still be usable. The lieutenant looks into the keyhole. How do we open this? Maybe this is one of the doors we don't open. <laughs> he looks at the door, then at his bigger brother, then at the lock. He's right. It would be better to open its big brother. A powerful engine hangs under the ceiling. It must control the blast door. You're right. We open the big one. Do you see controls anywhere? No, this isn't one more door. We're opening it. I find us not opening it highly unlikely. Sure, you're right. We won't have to open it. All right. I retract my statement. It was naive. Let's look around and get it open. Well, we've got a console over there which needs some energy. Mm-hmm. And now we know this door doesn't just lead to a continuing thing, although we can see some stuff over here, but first you gotta get through there. So the room will light up. Probably. Maybe you can find grease in the bed. <laughs> Maybe there's grease <laughs> in the bed. Lies in the corner. No, no, we're good. Yes, any time. If you need a rest later, it's okay by me. You don't have to be a hero. Would it actually 
Hold on a second. Let me see something real quick. Want to test it out? Greasy old. Maybe it's better to get back to the mainland. Rest there. You've earned it. Okay. He just says no. Yeah. Maybe it's better yeah. to get back. Okay. We still got a job to do. Um, not detective. Officer. Okay. Officer. Officer. Oh, damn. We still have a job to do. Officer. From top to bottom, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Hmm. And down through here. Nothing along the edges. Do you have zoom out ca capabilities? Ice cracks under your feet. Be careful not to fall through. Now, what are the odds that would actually happen <laughs> in video game over? Uh, I'm sure. What are you going to... Another entry? A strange form. Yeah, yeah. Looking at the water. Maybe you should just wander off into the sea. Uh-huh. Leave it all and walk in. You know what's fucked up? You had a premonition about what this area would look like before you even walked into it. Yeah. Why? But it's cold. Raise your sight. Shake your head. In the still mirror of the bay, you see Martinez reflected. Tall edifices of ruins reach into the water like shimmering towers and the shacks too pine trees and motor lorries upside down islets and posts like stepping stones lead into the water in front of you go step in it's been too long perhaps there's someone there under the water waiting for you where it has always been in front of the video rental on the corner, at the crossing, smelling of tutti frutti and betrayal. Maybe you know it's going to hurt. Can't trust your own. It be your own. For real. For real. Yes, cold and still. But love is warm like the inside of her mouth. Yes, please. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. No, no. We're not starting with that. Not now. Not this time. This thought is over. Shake your head. Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> Damn. The winch is broken. The rest of must have eaten what remains of the chains. Doing the work, huh? Nothing else to do, but... The depot that supplied this chain is long gone from the coast. A weathered artillery map shows the coordinates of the Bay of Revachal. An old medicine cabinet, newly stocked with Bedrouamin. LUM fuel canister. There you go. Worth almost 14 real. There's a rain-soaked mattress on a concrete slab, only half covered by the crumbling roof. At the head of it, double embrasures, firing slits like two eyes in the wall. This looks like a good place to aim from. Mm. The lieutenant looks around. He steps closer with his hand on his gun. Inspect the mattress. A single person mattress, modern, civilian use, brand name, Marjorie. There's a fuel stain on the cover, along with cigarette burns, and an empty can of beans on the ground next to it. 
filled to the brim with cigarette butts. What a waste of a perfectly good Tempur-Pedic mattress. <laughs> the silhouette of a tobacco picker adorns the paper filter. The brand, Tio Moteri. Contemporary River Sholians prefer Juan, a local blend from the Southern Islands, or Astra, the legendary cigarette from Grad. Tia Matiri is favored by older men for its paper filter tips, sweet smell, and added tar. We found some Goya beans at the scene, Reggie. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> oh, Tia Matiri, huh? I saw a name brand of cigarettes extinguished in Land's End. Mm-hmm. I saw Some, the same brand, excuse me. Yeah. Someone's been smoking Tio Motiri cigarettes. Not a lot of that around. Could be a coincidence. Or the same person has visited Land's End and here. I didn't see any signs of smoking inside, though. If people live there, they keep it tidy. This here may also be a smoking spot. Inspect the wall. There's a firing slit in the wall in front of you, like a little window. Touch the concrete first. Quite old and grimy from years without cleaning by anything other than the rain. Look through the hole in the concrete. The springs screech as you lean on the mattress and crane your neck to look out. Trepidation, a tingling feeling in your stomach. A small piece of Martinez coastline opens up in the square in front of you, like a tiny landscape painting. One kilometer across the water, the ruins look familiar. On the left? A towering skyscraper, its top floors shaved off by artillery fire, capeside apartments, Rue de saint Lane, 33A and 33B. On the right? The red chimney and collapsed back of the four-story tenement in front of the whirling in rags, Rue de saint Gislaine, 10, the doomed commercial area. Man, between the two. The box-shaped silhouette of the whirling in rags. Its sloped roof, a tiny fleck of light catches your eye on the rooftop, sunlight reflecting off the upstairs window of Clausia's room. Motherfucker. What does that mean? Do you have line of sight to the window? <laughs> I mean, I know it's what spotters are for, but it still reads as magic when someone can calculate with wind, with the curvature of the earth, from a distance, how to create pink mist where your head used to be. Yeah. Fucking magic. More than that. Kim. With a pair of binoculars, I would be able to see inside the room. It's insane. Yeah, there's an opening between 33A and 10. I can see to the roof. A pair of binoculars or a scope of a rifle? You'd be prone, lying on a mattress, barrel resting on the embrasure. I think we have it. The origin of the shot. This is the sniper's nest. He pats you on the back. Three small pats in a row. Affirmative. Finally. Better late than never. Why didn't we come here before? Booyah! Master cop work. <laughs> <laughs> Booyah! <laughs> I wonder if you're thinking of what I'm thinking, but probably not. Probably not. <laughs> Booyah! I, oh my god, I think you might be. <laughs> Don't! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Is that, it was that popular? <laughs> oh shit! Better late than never. <laughs> Nothing pointed here. <laughs> Many leads pointed elsewhere. You're right! Six people dead. We could have prevented it. Don't beat yourself up, officer. We did not put guns in their hands, or get them drunk. He looks north, over the fortification, then adds, Reggie, I'm very specific. <laughs> like, I'm thinking about my time here on this channel, and I'm like, I would have never guessed that you would have <laughs> I'm very specific with my references. <laughs> Please pay attention. <laughs> no gesture is wasted. You catch it or you don't. 
lieutenant pauses. Regret comes over him. <laughs> we will make up for it. Here. I feel it. Could the shooter still be here? Where? He looks behind his back. In Martinez? On this island? Right here. <laughs> Harry? So? We would see them if they were here. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I guess so. I guess. I don't know, man. I've beaten Metal Gear Solids 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And if there's one thing I learned, is that these snipers might actually be in the room. Perhaps it's a... No, officer. It's not an invisible shooter. But this island, on the other hand... You think he's here? Or she? We should move. You see that? I do. Look at all that do, I mean. Cash money. That is the smallest selectable we've seen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Was it the zoom in? Maybe. Oh, so many dots. Yeah, we got points. We got two points now. Yeah, that was a lot of XP. Um. Mm hmm. So composure at five. Uh, inland seven. Authority five. Mm -hmm. Drama and conceptualization five. Yeah, I'm tempted to uh, round off inland at eight and leave it alone. Or let the cosmic sounds wash over you and continue examining what else is going on. All right. Let's follow the wave. The fuel container. We still some fuel in it. In this battered canister, a liter or two. The metal looks decades old. The logo of the automotive manufacturer LUM has faded on the side. Open the blast door. Uh, you can't walk over this way, can you? Oh, oh ho. no way to jump down here without breaking a few bones, which we're in healthy shape, shape for, of course. Dude, I feel like I feel like a. a, a <laughs> a crystal bug would be like right here and, it, and as soon as we walk up it'd be like and then it'd just jump off and I wouldn't hear it yeah <laughs> and then like from up here something would just fu a skeleton would just fucking roll down on top of you <laughs> you're right you feel eyes on your back someone's watching but you can't say where oh shit Damn. That was purple. Sometimes it feels like... Somebody's watching me. Oh, and no one will remember my name because I got Michael Jackson to sing this song and I actually suck compared to him. Wow. It always feels like he takes credit for this song, but I don't because I just said some weird shit in a weird voice and it's really just the Michael Jackson part that everybody <laughs> likes and remembers. <laughs> And I have no privacy. Oh. <laughs> oh, we got the gas. The console is powered off and covered in dust. Possibly. Urgence, ouvert, allumé, radio diffusé. It sounds like this device was used to control the electronics here. Maybe it still does. This device was used to control the electronics in the room. It could open doors. Could cool. Let's pour the gas into the generator. Oh, it'll probably be automatic. This old cylindrical... The lieutenant assists you, holding the canister up to the fuel tank as you tilt. Dark brown, viscous fluid pours out. 
and the room fills with a chemical smell. There's a red starter switch on the side of the cylinder and a start rope on the other side. The lieutenant flicks the switch. Pull the rope. The recoil start wakes the old generator up. The machine sputters like an old war horse before settling down to a rattle. Well, now whoever was here is definitely in the know. Mm -hmm. That should do it. They're definitely watching now. Okay, let's clear these prompts out. It's done. And now... A dim golden glow animates the console. Faint, like a ghost light. Eugène's over reads one dial key. Allume reads another. It's on. Turn emergency open. He smiles. Automatic boot. The blast door opens with a series of clicks. A shaft of light appears, then widens as the light shines in. A bunch of Street Fighter monsters. Oh no! Oh, that's a big door. That's a huge door. You can get a large vehicle or tank through that door if you needed. After you. Before, outside, when we were walking across the sand, I felt someone watching me. So did I. Not back there, but I felt it since we came here. What's there? Point to the door. I don't know. A thin wisp of smoke rises from a charred black fire pit. The wind picks up, then dies down again. What if we get in another fight? Don't worry. I have a gun. Takes out his sidearm, checks the barrel, then holsters it again. I also have a gun. I know. It was not easy to acquire. <laughs> With one bullet, Kim. Let's go. Also, though, I'm still shot, and also, when you get hit with a bullet with armor on, like, it's not super great to go for a second one. Walk slow. It might be dangerous. And also, well, we got our points. Also, the fireman. It's called the fireman. Saber. <laughs> Just for show. <laughs> now you've really crossed the line. <laughs> Last laugh because you came to die. Uh huh. Let's do it. Burr, 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 burr. Oh, new part of the army. It was outside after all. Man, this is so unsettling knowing that there are people watching us. Small white flowers blossom all around you. Oh, I mean, look. You can replace the ones on the roof, maybe. This is the kind of island that it seems like it's possible to make it to, but not to make it off of. <laughs> you know? A rubber dinghy. It's deflated. Broke it. If we can make a one-way trip here. You're gonna go north first? Yep. Looks like the edge of the Isola. Smell air smell sweet and scary somehow. Is that someone? That is someone bench. right there with the bench. Yep. And we got the gun. You're our person. I don't imagine there's much reason to walk anywhere else. Nope. Nope. That's the other side. Okay. I appreciate that you simply sit and wait for us. And with that, who is that? Our sniper. Who is that? 
I say hello. An old man wearing tracksuit trousers leans on the frame stock of his rifle. He gathers a big ball of spit in his mouth, then spits it out into the extinguished fire before him. He raises his black eyes, hooded by creased eyelids, to meet yours. That is a crisp, clear portrait. No distortions, lines, or paint where it shouldn't be. Unclouded by cataracts, his eyesight is sharp. Just like his portrait. He's practically tearing up from spite. Hatred got the best of him a long time ago. This man hates everything. Wow. Well, are you the fire guy? You've retained your eyesight. Did you close the blast door? Nice gun you got there. Sir, I need you to put down that gun so we can talk further. We're with the police. I'm with the police. You can keep the gun, but keep it down. Not one move. Sorry for disturbing you. Goodbye. Goodbye. You retained your eyesight. My eyesight? <clears throat> yes. Helps me see all the shit. Are you the fire guy? The what now? Did I you can't hear you. Did you recently tell two kids to put out their fire? Two twins. I may have. All sorts of little rats have come sniffing around, trying to give up the position. Weird, like, reverb to his voice. The position sounds like a hiding place. Fire guy. Regressive bourgeoisie henchman. Can't even talk like a grown-up. I see. Okay, he's already put us in the box. From the old fight. This mm -hmm. one. Did you close the blast door? I did. And you opened it. How? I feel the generator, then use the console. I should have burned that console down. He shakes his head. How'd you know I was coming? Reactionary rock and roll music. Playing on the water. <laughs> Gestures north. <laughs> well then. You fucking idiot. <laughs> I told you we shouldn't play sad FM. But you didn't say that, Kim. It was not rock and roll. It was sad FM. It was not reactionary. It was cool. The fascists were right about rock and roll. It is degenerate. Hip gyrating mental illness music. Hardcore! Okay, so just, you know when start you, busting into the moves right here. Uh, 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 you don't know, like uh, these moves? Kim, show the moves. Show me your sea walk. Yeah, we we've met the old dude. You know the old dude that's gonna say things and you just kind of like ignore them. Mm -hmm. and just like okay, let's get to the meat. I'm sorry that you could not appreciate. One of the coolest moments in the game, old man. Still blind, I guess. Super worth it to listen to Sad FM. Nice gun. It's not nice. It's a piece of shit. But it gets the job done. And is, is that, that a Bell McGraw? Yeah. Nice and old school? It's a Triangong 446. Southeast Samarin made. Exotic. Must be defunct too. No modern rifle manufacturer of that name springs to mind. A Samarin rifle? How did you get hold of one? It was sent to us by our brothers in the Sinyao commune. Military aid. Oh, the Sinyao commune. 
Have there been any movies about you being in a tower, taking out everybody? Perhaps for propaganda purposes? Three. <laughs> you heard me. A book or two. It's good now. Like chalk, white from the ball. His gaze turns inwards. He's right. Almost no one remembers there was a third metastasis of the world revolution in the Safari Empire, extinguished in 06. Oh shit, really? It was, it's not wiped from the board. I remember it. They wouldn't like hearing their name in your mouth. Damn, dog. The time will come to win his trust, comrade. It is not now. You need to take care of the gun first. Okay. How are you going to handle this? See, nobody knows about the super secret third Shin Holy Roman Empire. <laughs> <laughs> it was very brief. It was a very quiet third. Very, yeah, it didn't last very long, but... <laughs> Alright. He's not putting the gun down. So, how about this? You know, I don't know. Both I say you're know. with the police. The first one say, I need you to put the gun down so we can talk. And Rhetoric the says, says the top you can keep the gun. Yeah. Antagonistic. Rhetoric says the time will come to win his trust. It's not now take care of the gun first let's let's put the gun down and see what happens maybe you know don't wanna yeah maybe make a mistake here that's cool the lieutenant pulled his pistol from the holster you are a glorified night watchman this is a service rifle I can only lay it down before an enemy commander of corresponding rank. I am an enemy commander of rank. That's pretty high. The erasure of the senior outcome. Red check. Okay, but keep the gun down while we talk. All right, looks like we're good. I don't know if I want to trust these chuckle fucks. Forty-two <laughs> percent. What? <laughs> oh, no! The words "I am an enemy commander" sound cold as iron from your lungs. The old man still hugs his gun. And what rank would that be, dog? Lieutenant. Double your freighter. A big wheel of the Force Regiment to the Pederast Army. <laughs> to hell with it. It's a walking stick anyway. It's out of bullets. The old man lays the rifle down carelessly, then stares at it just lying there. See this right here? Yeah. This is what Rene was fighting. Oh, yeah, okay. This is what Rene was fighting. <laughs> like an amputated limb in the sand. Pick up the gun lying in the sand. His gaze follows your motions. The rifle feels surprisingly light in your hand. Frame stopped and patched in places with tape and wire. Inspect it closer. The rifle's in a shabby state, like a crutch that's seen too much travel. Hieroglyphs are embossed into the forearm made of walnut. On the butt, you see Vespertine writing burnt into the wood. Triangon, 4.46 millimeter. Made in Xinyao. It's as he said, it's a Triangong made in Xinyao. Xinyao. This uses jacketed ammunition, 446. Oh man, could you imagine having this conversation with Kuno? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
Oh my god, no! The right type and the right calibre. <laughs> Lieutenant Mods glancing at the gun. He's liking this. Kuno's like, this is just a fucking stick! <laughs> this is nothing, you old sack of shit! Kuno doesn't fucking care! <sighs> like, Alright, Kuno. You have the dream, you wake up, you walk into the water, and it's Kuno in the road. <laughs> what the fuck you doing here? <laughs> Fucking pig! Were you expecting the Lord's Day, were you? <laughs> this is Locust City. <laughs> I'm a fucking artist. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, okay. See you tomorrow night, pig! <laughs> God, not again. Kim, I need a drink. No one said it has to be a banana grave. We were just guessing. The lieutenant does not take his eyes off the old man. From ballistics, it could easily have been a triangle, too. All right. It doesn't matter if it was made in shanty shanty. All it has to do is use jacketed ammunition. And it does. Shanty shanty. Visual calculus doesn't chime in often, but I appreciate when you do. The old man keeps following your motion with his gaze. His right arm twitches suddenly. Also, sorry, I forgot how fucking cool that portrait was. Yeah? All. You can see the lines tracing. Old Signosis cover style. Looking like it's about to call me hacker. 